I reject that. I reject the idea of modern neurologists that might feel that depression is genetically in, inherited or a product of genetic damage. The reason I don't believe that is I work with so many people, alcoholics, drug addicts, people with a prison record, and I took that out in one session. So if it was genetic, it wouldn't come out. That's how I know it works. And I don't know if you saved the letters, do you? That we get from people that said, I was about to turn my life in, I have no reason, you gave me a reason to live and work. So that's all I can go by, not genetics. I can't do anything with genetics. If a doctor says someday we'll have a cure for cancer, that may encourage a person, but it won't encourage me. Let's just say, what is your approach? And they give me an approach that would encourage me if I had cancer. Do you understand? Because I'm sure you'll get well. Have faith in yourself. Cancer don't give a shit about it. It just keeps multiplying. You might live a week longer or three weeks longer if you have self-confidence. But always ask a person, like nobody asks any of these T, t group people, what would you do under these circumstances? How would you solve this problem? How would you get the Democrats to see the Republican point of view? They never talk about that. They talk about their own limitations. Now, I did mention in the past that psychologists have a higher suicide rate than normal. That means they go undergo depression. And if they really ask the question, what is depression? So I don't know. Then a guy writes a theory of genetics, of the genes. That doesn't take away the depression. Do you understand that? Taking drugs might tranquilize you, or drinking alcohol when you're depressed might take you out of your self-image. You just sit there and look around. It makes you feel relaxed and comfortable. Next day is a hangover and a depression. 